welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel i wanted to do a tutorial on how i'm going to do my eyeshadow this morning i get a lot of questions about technique and sort of where to start and what to do so i wanted to upload a quick video i thought i would just take you on a little journey with me as i do my eyeshadow this morning so the first thing i'm going to do is prime it is so important to prime your eyelids you're going to just use any primer of your choice. You can also just use concealer if you don't have primer. And basically you'll just put it on your eyelids just like that. I like to take my ring finger because it's the weakest finger on the hand and it doesn't tug at the skin. So if you use your finger to just sort of dab it on and think to yourself more like blotting, not wiping. So you're just gonna like tap it on there and make sure there's a good layer of primer. Primer is so important. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set my primer. You don't want to just go in and start buffing out your eyelid with the color of your choice from your palette because what's going to happen is if you don't set the primer first, you're going to end up with a dark spot where the brush first touched your skin and then it's just going to be very, very difficult to blend. It's going to be kind of tacky. So we want to set the powder. So the first thing we're going to do is choose any powder of your choice. It doesn't even have to be eyeshadow. It could be some sort of face powder, like this is my NYX palette. I can use any one of these light colors just to sort of pat on to make it less tacky. Or you can just choose the color in your palette that's closest to your skin. So that would be this one for me or even this one, it could even be this one. The lightest one is probably the better option. So the first thing you're going to do is grab a fluffy brush. Any fluffy brush of your choice will work. And this is, this is from Mary Kay, I believe. So I'm going to take just my lightest color over here and I'm going to tap it twice. And then I'm going to tap off the excess. I just saw the powder fly. So then I'm going to start. My technique is this. I always start in little circles at the corner of my eyelid and then I move it over. Once I feel like I have enough here in that spot, I'll take it and just swoop it over. So I'm going to take a little more. So what you're doing now is you're just setting your primer that way when you put on your colors it will glide on nice and smooth can somebody please tell me why i have eyelash glue on my eyelid and it will stay on my eyelid regardless of how many times i wash it and try to scrub it off yet my eyelashes won't stay on my eyelids hmm. So the next thing I'm going to do little circles, bring it over, little circles, bring it over. So now I've covered my entire eyelid with a setting color or setting powder. So now you can actually go in with your brushes and you can create the look that you want and it's gonna go on so much easier. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a transition shade. A transition shade is a color that's in between your lightest color and your darkest color. So typically the way the eyeshadow works on your eyelid is you'll have a light color under your eyebrow, the lightest, in fact, even like a highlighter a lot of times. And then the lightest color will really go on your lid and you wanna focus in the corner of your lid if you wanna make your eyes seem wider and brighter. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a fluffy brush. This one is from A Rose Beauty. Um, to be honest with you, it's not like a super high quality brush, but it is one of the fluffiest brushes I own and I really like it. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my transition shade. This is the color that's going to be, like I said, in the middle. So we're going to, I'm going to start with this color right over here and watch what I do. Tap, tap, tap. Okay. And I'm just going so lightly in little circles. 
And once I feel like I have a good amount, like where I want it on the side of my eye, right here in this corner, I'm going to just drag it into the crease. And blend, blend, blend. I'm gonna take another tap, tap, tap it off. And we're gonna do the same for the other side. And my hand is very, very light. Once I feel like I have enough, I'm gonna just drag it into the crease. So I like to do what's called windshield wiper motions, which is back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But then I also like to do little circles. I like to do a combination of both. I feel like it really evens out the color. And you really don't need a lot. The trick here is less is more. The less product you have on your brush, the better off you're going to be. So the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to take more of my transition shade, and then I'm gonna take this other red color right here, and I'm just gonna do one swipe of each. Now what I'm doing is I'm introducing a new color but I'm also still mixing it with my transition shade. So it's gonna start off very, very light in the transition. And I am sort of bringing this a little bit lower. If you notice the lighter shade, the first shade I put is a little bit higher. This one's gonna be just a little bit lower, a little bit underneath. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna take my transition shade and this other shade that's very close to it, but sort of the next step up pigmentation wise. We're gonna just ever so lightly and it's gonna be slightly underneath where I placed the other. Think to yourself, ombre. All right. The next color I'm going to take is from my other Juvia's palette, and it's also like their, it's kind of like a very, very dark rose gold. Um, it is the next color up that I'm going to be using, and we're going to go right over that last area we went so lightly, but more on the eyelid than in the crease. Okay, so right now I'm focusing mainly on my eyelid, but at the bottom of the crease still. Tap, tap. And so right now I'm just doing like little circular motions and then windshield wipers. So the next step I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a different brush because right now I want it to be clean. Elf Cosmetics, it's the defining eye brush. It does not have a number on it, but it's got sort of like a little angle right here. So I'm going to dip the angled part of the brush into a dark color. So I'm gonna use this color right here. I'm just gonna go tap, tap, then tap the rest off. I want the angle to be facing this way, okay? I want it to go as the same shape as my eye. So the angle, notice again, the point is pointing this way towards this part of my eye. So then I'm gonna place it on my eyelid and I'm just gonna do tiny little baby strokes back and forth. These tiny little strokes. And that's really gonna deepen up the color of the crease. We're gonna go in with some more. And I'm also focusing on the corner, very much the corner of my eyelid. I'm really not moving it past there. The reason I'm showing you how I'm tapping it on the eyeshadow is because that, believe it or not, that's one of the most important parts is you really don't want to get too much on. You want to be very, very selective with what you're putting on your brush. So, and then you build. 
So yeah, you may start off with a tiny little bit at first, and then once that's blended into your eyelid, then you go in with more of that color if you feel like you want to deepen it. Angled brushes are really good for this part because you can really go ahead and get in that crease. You want to think to yourself the greater sign and the less than signs, you know how they kind of like are sideways V's. That's kind of what you want to look at your eye shape like. So that's kind of where you want to stay and you don't want to really exceed that part. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a lighter shade, my lightest shade or my second to lightest shade. You can really have as little as three colors, a dark, a medium, and a light, or you can have as many as you want. As long as you understand the placement of where they all go, you can really create any look you want. So I'm gonna go in with this like shimmery, it's almost like a, almost like a pink, tiny little bit and then tap it off. This is gonna go at the very, very top. So it's going to be, do you guys see where I'm placing this? It's at the very, very top of where my original transition shade started. And so the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to take a flat synthetic brush. This one is my Urban Decay Shadow Brush. So it's just a very flat tip. You can use any synthetic brush and I'm going to take the lightest color, the absolute lightest color, and I'm going to dip it in a couple of times, same technique, tap it off. And what we wanna do is get right under the eyebrow. I have not done my eyebrows yet. I like to switch it up. I don't necessarily always do my eyebrow first and then go in with my shadow. Sometimes I will go in with the shadow first, like for this demonstration. And you're just going to like, you're really just patting it into the skin. Noticed I'm not like smearing it, just kind of like going over it. And if you feel like you need a little more, do it. And then what I like to do is take my ring finger again, dip it back in that light color. And then I just like to sort of pop it right in the corner of my eye. And if you have any harsh lines, you can just sort of blend them out. We want it to look like it gradually changes from one color to the next on your eyelid. So the next step is my favorite part. It's the part where you could put some shimmer or some glitter on your eyelid. Um, you don't have to, you can also, if you feel like that's just too much, you can use any color of your choice on your palette, but you typically want to stick to the lighter colors when you're thinking about the center of your eyelid right here. So for our demonstration, I'm going to go in with this color over here. It's pretty light. It's a little shimmery. We're going to tap it and then you're going to want to just tap it on your eyelid with that same brush. You're just tapping it on. I'm sort of tapping and dragging down at the same time. And notice how I'm turning my head back and forth. So we're gonna tap it back in and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We are patting it into the eyelid but we're almost like starting here and dragging down very slightly as we pat because you don't want the color to go up. So you're gonna want to have the color stay pretty much on your eyelid and not really exceed that. And notice I'm sticking in the middle of my eyelid. I'm not going into the corner, but you do wanna blend with the lightest color you put on the inside of your eye. I'm gonna go back to my original fluffy brush and I'm going to go back in with that deeper color. You want a very, very little amount. And what you wanna do is very lightly blend out any harsh lines from the light color. So 
So now I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows and my eyelashes and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I am back. I went ahead and did my eyelashes and my eyebrows really quick, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what the final look looks like. As you guys can tell, the lightest color is visible on top of your eyeliner, and it just looks so pretty with that contrast. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and you learned something from it and you can apply it in your everyday lives. If you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave it in the comments box and I'll be sure to try to reply to everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.